Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the actions that we have in the SFC programming for the PSCs. So the actions can be categorized into two main categories. The first category is called the IEC conforming step actions, which are the actions which are placed on the right hand side of the steps, as you can see here. Each action has two fields. One is called the qualifier and the other one is, is the name of the action. So the qualifier can be N or some others as, we, as I will show you later. And the other category of the actions is called IEC extending actions, step actions, which include the step active, step entry, and step exit action. So the way that these actions are introduced to the program and their behavior is different from each other and in this in this example i will show you uh, the difference between these two kinds of actions so uh, this is what i will do i will create a program a project inside which i will have two kind of actions the action active step active action as you can see here and one of the iec conforming actions with the qualifier and as you can see here. So let me show you briefly the qualifiers that we have for the uh, step actions. We have the N, which is not a stored one. And in this case, the action is active as far as, far as the step is active. The others are R0, S0, L, D, P, S, D, D, S, and S, and I will uh, maybe explain, explain them later. But for now, I'm going to use only the N qualifier, and I will show you the difference in this set. So let's go to the uh, Codices environment. This is what I have by default after uh, creating the project. Here I want to uh, insert one step. I can uh, drop the step here. It's called step zero by default. I don't change the name. And now I want to create a parallel branch. So after I uh, drag the branch, I can drop it in different locations. If I drop it just after the transition, now it, beca it became red. And if I click again, I will have this parallel branch. So I have step 0, step 1 created here. For step 0, I will add uh, the step active action. To do so, you can just drag the action from here. And now you can see the places in which uh, you can put the action. So this will be the action, the step active action. This will be the step entry action, and this will be the step exit action. And this one on the right side is the action association. So for the step zero, I create the step uh, entry action. I call it step active, and here I use ST as the programming language. Uh, so this is the name of the action, step zero underline active, and add it to the project. Here I need to determine the, the kind of action that I need to take whenever I enter this step. So let me introduce the variables that we will use in this uh, project. So here I have the, all the variables that I want to use. Uh, for the step active action that I have created, I would like to increase the value of the int 0, 1, by one. Uh, let me double check it. Yeah, it's, it's zero one by one, and that, that's it. Now I want to create another action and place it here for the other step with the qualifier n. And for that, I uh, so I type it as step one. action I, I need to create the action so to create the action i click here on the psc underline program at object and I, I add the action structure text as the programming language and as the name of the action i use the same thing that i already have entered step one action and here uh, so I need to increase the value for the int 0, 2 by 1. As you can see here. Uh, furthermore, I want to 
keep track of the value of the integer 0, 1 and integer 0, 2 at the end of the uh, steps. So for that, I'm going to introduce another action, which is called, uh, which is for the step exit. Again, structured text as the programming language. So here what I want to do is to uh, put the value of the integers int 0, 1 into int 0, 3, and then reset int 0, 1 to 0. So I will have int 0, 3 equal to int 0, 1. Int 0, 1 setting back to 0. Otherwise, int 0, 1 will uh, increase as the execution of the code continues. All right, and here in from the toolbox, I pick another action and place it here. Step one exit, structure text as the programming language. And I set the value for int 0, 4 coming from int 0, 2. And uh, int 0, 2 being equal to 0. So as you can see here, at the end of the uh, whenever we want to exit this, the, the value for the int 0, 3 will be equal to int 0, 1. The value for int 0, 4 will be equal to int 0, 2. And these two variables will be reset to 0. Uh, okay, so I just need to put one more transition here. And for the transition, I'll set it to true, so it will be true all the time. We need to be in the simulation mode. Now we can log in. Uh, okay, there are no errors, so we can run the code. And here you can see that the execution of the program continues in this way. So since both of the transitions are true, the execution of the code stays inside the step one and step zero only for one cycle, one program cycle. And then it goes back to the init and it's, uh, it continues in this way. Uh, having a look at the variables that we have, so int 0 to keeps track of the value that comes from the step 0, and int 0 4 keeps track of the value which comes from step 1. In step 0, it, as the step active uh, action, we are adding 1 to the value of the int 0 1 which is reset to 0. So in, in 0, 1, we we'll have values of 0 and 1, which is always here. So the value for int 0, 3 is always 1. It means that the action inside step 1, the active, the step active action in the step 0, will be executed only once. So it's executed only once when the execution of the program enters step 0 it will be executed and that's only once. But for step one, the, the action that we have here, the IEC conforming action, is executed twice. Once that we enter the step and the second time that we exit this step. That's why the value for int 0, 4 is equal to 2. Because the addition is performed two times. And that, yeah, that's why we have 2 for int 0, 4 and we have 1 for int uh, 0, 3. So this is uh, the way that they differ. This kind of uh, actions, the IEC conforming action with the qualifier n, is performed at least twice, once that you enter and once that you exit the, the, the step. But the step active is executed only once here when we enter and exit. Only one time the action is uh, executed. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. I hope this would help you in understanding the difference between the different kind of actions in the SFC environment. In the next videos, I will give you more detail about the, the actions with different qualifiers. That's all. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share the video if you find that it would be useful for someone else to watch.